Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh. And today we are going to do an important topic that is market research. So very important topic if you obviously you have done your MBA in marketing. Marketing research is a proper subject there and marketing research is also important from IBPS SO marketing mains exam point of view. It's a small topic here. Utana bada ek topic nahi hai. Chota sa topic hai. We are uh, we don't go that much in depth in this particular topic. Okay, so it's a chapter here, not a whole book we are doing. So my name is Ramandeep Singh, and I have been teaching on bank exams today for last twelve years now. And this is my WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts, and I'm going to answer your doubts. Let me just hide myself so that you can read the content properly. So what do you mean by marketing research? Marketing research is systematically uh, gathering point number one. This is a first step recording, analyzing qualitative and quantitative data ab about issues related to market uh, marketing products and services. So basically you are uh, first of all, you should know why you are doing a research. Aapka goal kya hai? So let's say if uh, Coke, Coca-Cola decides to change the formula in the very first formula. They increased the sugar level in the second one. They increase the fizziness in the third one. They decrease the sugar level and uh, in fourth one, they, they kept it unchanged. So they are going to test this product in various markets. Okay. To know the results. So this is a kind of market research. Okay. So you have a plan, you have a goal. Okay. Then you, uh, you know, you you make a research plan, you collect the data, you analyze the data, and then you pass on the information to the management so that they can take decisions based upon the research. Okay. What is the goal? You want to, you know, make better products, you want to make better products. You want to enhance the user experience, you want to offer better products to the customers, a better product jo hai, uh, customers ko dena chahte ho, you want to enhance the user experience of your products. Okay. So market research uh, data can be collected using various methods. This is very, very important. Up survey kar sakte ho, interviews, customer observation, focus group, a lot of uh, ways are there uh, by using these methods, you can collect the data. I have already done an in depth uh, lecture on this topic. It's available in the course link is available in the description. The, the research process, it starts with defining the problem. What is the problem? How much sugar should be there in the in the Coca Cola? Coke ke can me a can me kitni sugar honi chahiye? How much it should be? So uh, should we increase the sugar content or not? This is the problem. Develop the research plan for collecting the information. You make a plan. So uh, what is there in this plan? What is the budget? So what is the budget? What is the timeline? Timeline kya hai? Budget kya hai? Ye sara aap jo hai decide kar rahe ho at that stage. Collect the relevant data and the information. Now this is the most important part. Uh, very exam relevant. Uh, various methods are there. Various approaches are there to collect the data from the population. Theek hai? From the target market or the population. Okay. So ye bahut important hai from examination point of view. You implement the research plan, you analyze the data, and then you interpret the data. So raw data is useless. The data should be processed and should be converted into information. For example, aapne, uh, for example, the Coke wala example, Coca Cola wala. So uh, you did the research on 100,000 people. Theek hai? And I mean, you get a raw data. I mean, he liked it, he didn't like it, like it, didn't like it. Okay. There is no impact of that. You need to make use of various sophisticated statistical softwares, which would tell you, uh, which would give you information that whether that particular, uh, you know, uh, increase or decrease in the sugar level uh, is, uh, you know, has an effect on the sales or not. So find the actual, actual information. Why you did your research, you convert the data raw data into useful information and then you give that information to the management and management take decisions based upon that information so this is the basic marketing research process okay
I did a 30 minute session in the course IBPS SO marketing course, you can join it there. So I'm doing some important MCQs here, which of the following is not a benefit of marketing research benefit kya nahi hai. So uh, increasing the sales and profit so directly on the basis of uh, the market research profit and sales, I mean, that won't increase you would be able to identify new market opportunities. Yes, for sure. If you are going to the market, you will get to know what people are looking for logo ko chahiye kya understanding understanding the customer needs developing the new products on the basis of the research. So that can be the goal. Okay. Uh, the question number two, which of the following is a type of secondary data? What is a secondary data and the primary data? I hope you're already aware of it. So primary data, you are going to the to the population or the target market yourself. And you are collecting the data. So uh, if you are, uh, you know, uh, if you made a questionnaire, and you're going to your uh, target market, and they are filling the forms, right, that you're collecting primary data, you are sending them emails, okay, and then you're collecting the data that is that is what that is primary data. Okay. Then what is secondary data, you are using a third party's uh, data. Okay, and uh, somebody has already done the research, somebody has already collected the data. And you are making use of that data. Okay, that is secondary data. Okay. So uh, government reports, uh, that's a secondary data, if you're making use of it, that's a secondary data, focus group surveys and interviews, you are yourself making putting in efforts to collect the data. Okay, that is, that's primary data. Okay. Which of the following is a type of quantitative research. So quantitative and qualitative as a name suggests quantitative, which can be explained in numbers. Okay, so all these focus groups, surveys, interviews, interviews, you're doing one to one interaction with the respondents. Uh, surveys, even focus group, there is a group discussion, right? So all these are quantitative uh, uh, type of researches. Okay. Uh, which of the following is a step in marketing research process very common question identifying uh, collecting the problem collecting data analyzing the data all of them are part or the steps in the marketing research process market research process identify the problem collect the data analyze the data uh, you know uh, then you need to file the reports all these are part of the market research process which of the following is that uh, is a type of sampling methods so various sampling methods are there convenient sampling. So for example, 100, uh, 100 that this is a population 100 people are there in a in a locality and you can take a sample of 10, 10 persons. So randomly or uh, not randomly, according to your convenience, you took two, five, eight, uh, 12, 23, random, uh, it's actually not everybody is not having the same probability of getting selected. It is according to the researcher, he is selecting the respondents according to his convenience. Okay, so it is not random, random, randomly, for example, Tambula, right? So randomly, everybody, every respondent here, one to 100 has equal opportunity of getting selected as an as a respondent. Okay, so you are taking that's kind of a lottery, stratified sampling. So there are 100 people. Okay, so you are dividing the population according to uh, the features, for example, male, female, okay, according to their age, gender, educational qualifications, income levels. So according to these features, you are dividing the whole population, right. And uh, these, these parts are known as uh, stratas, right. And if you want to, uh, you know, uh, take a sample of 10 persons, 10 respondents, five from here, five from here. So that would be a better representation of the whole population. So uh, all of them are sampling methods. I just wanted to explain the type of methods. Kaise hote hai. That's why I'm doing this convenience, random and stratified. If you want to read this, you can, but I think I have explained this in a very beautiful manner. Uh, which of the following is not a qualitative research, not a qualitative research surveys. 
so students survey is not a qualitative it is a quantitative research because when you are doing the survey for example how much satisfied you are with uh, with our services rate us from 1 to 5 or yes or no so that is quantitative in case of an interview or an ethnography or a focus group these are uh, i mean these are not quantitative what is ethnography this question was there in the previous paper ye pichle saal paper mein aaya tha so you are doing a long term research you are doing a long term research on a on a community or a group of people aap ek long term uh, you know research kar rahe ho qualitative on a group of people okay that is ethnographic research okay which of the following is the most common type of market research data collection method uh not kind of uh, you know exam relevant to hai nahi hai to aise question chode aap theek hai which of the following is the most important step in the marketing research every step is important <laughs> identifying the research ye seventh or eighth question mujhe utna acha nahi laga question banaye to nahi hai but uh, they are not so good okay so which of the following is a type of non probability uh, sampling method so non probability means uh, you are not using the concept of probability in selecting the samples that means uh, not every uh, respondent has the opportunity of getting selected okay uh, convenient sampling as i already told you the the researcher is selecting the respondents बेस्ड अपॉन हिज कन्वीनियंस हिज और हर कन्वीनियंस उसको जो अच्छा लगता है वो उसको रिस्पॉन्डेंट सेलेक्ट कर रहा है जो उसकी कन्वीनियंस है रैंडम सैम्पलिंग इज अ प्रॉबेबिलिटी सैम्पलिंग राइट रैंडम सैम्पलिंग इज अट्स नो इट्स इट्स अ प्रॉबेबिलिटी सैम्पलिंग सो दैट्स अ काइंड ऑफ अ लॉटरी हंड्रेड पीपल आप लॉटरी की तरह यू आर पिकिंग द रिस्पॉन्डेंट्स रैंडमली Stratified, I already explained in the previous slide. You are dividing the whole population in stratas, for example, male or females. So even that is uh, random. Okay, snowball sampling. So uh, again, according to the you know uh, what do you say? Uh, according to the convenience of the researcher, he's selecting the uh, respondents. Okay. So which of the following is a type of qualitative data analysis method? Content analysis, grounded theory. So what is content analysis? Content analysis. These both are qualitative data analysis method. Content analysis is used to analyze the content images or other media. So grounded theory is used to develop theories about social phenomena based on qualitative data. So content basically you are focusing on context images and other media grounded uh, based on the social phenomena. Which of the following is a type of market research data uh, collection method that involves observing people in their natural environment. So that is ethnography. So ethnographic uh, ethnographic research method uh, you are basically observing the people observing a community or a group of people in their natural environment okay that is ethnography very important as in the previous paper which of the following is a new trend in market research that is being used to collect data on new technology all of these like eye tracking voice analysis facial recognition these are used okay and which of the following is a type of market research data collection method that involves observing people in their natural without their knowledge in their natural environment without their knowledge that is mystery shopping uh, which of the following is a type of uh, market research report that is used to present the findings of a, a research study to a general audience through variety of media channels so that is a white paper white paper is Uh, generally issued by insurance companies banks right or mutual fund companies uh, brokers right to uh, disseminate the the information that they are having that they are possessing okay which of the following type of market research data collection method that involves tracking people's online behavior online behavior jo hai website analytics social media listening eye tracking so these are used even eye tracking is used so these are the methods online research method analytical method they that are used so nowadays students ibps so marketing mains mein digital topics mein se bahut sare questions aate hain so keep an eye on that latest topics data mining seo scm content marketing influencer marketing uh, 
uh, affiliate marketing, these are type of terms are you CTR, you should be able to understand these terms, if you want to crack the exam, okay. And IBPS SO marketing course, we are providing on bank exam today. And we are providing video classes, notes, quizzes, full length test for the pre and the mains exam power capsules and superset we are working on it live sessions well analyzed study material and full syllabus coverage is there in the course including the interview preparation guide so students list of our successful students all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked the respective ibps so marketing exams i'm really really happy for them if there is any doubt in your mind drop a whatsapp message on 9067201000 this is my personal number and a link to join the course is available in the description and that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye bye